Hey, what's up guys? It's Seth Riley here with the White Hat Mastermind Show. And uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Uh, throughout this series, we've talked about uh, setting up a beautiful, fully responsive WordPress website with the X theme. And then I also showed you how to uh, create really nice images and do the layout with the X theme. And then we went into uh, using PicMonkey to create really nice graphics. And then we optimized those graphics for WordPress. And uh, we also installed BuddyPress and BBPress in the last series, or I'm sorry, in the last tutorial. And uh, I showed you how to set up a forum and uh, social network very quickly uh, using those tools and also they're integrated with the X theme. Uh, thro so throughout this series, uh, we learned a lot of things, uh, but in this actual video, we are gonna discuss uh, spam bots and how we can keep uh, BuddyPress spam bot registrations from occurring because uh, that's actually a huge problem with BuddyPress and uh, you know WordPress in general. But when you do a like a, a multi-site network network activation with BuddyPress, or if you just install BuddyPress and you activate the plugin, uh, you're gonna your site's gonna be prone to getting a lot more. Uh, spam bots registering on your registration form than you would ever expect because it's just it's just the way it is and people actually have automated systems and softwares that target um, the BuddyPress registration page page on your WordPress website. So today I'm actually going to show you how to combat those with uh, a few tools that I personally use uh, to keep spam off of my site and this is a huge issue in the WordPress community and people are always looking for. Uh, ways to combat spam and so in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to use Wangard and also Google Captcha for uh, BuddyPress registration page. Uh, so let's just get right into it. Okay so what you want to go ahead and do is jump over to Google and just Google Wangard for WordPress okay and then once you find the actual page click on it it'll bring you to this page right here which is the wordpress.org uh, directory page and you can simply download it right here. Click download, add it to your uh, files on your computer. And then we're gonna jump back over to uh, your installation of WordPress, the dashboard, okay? And what you wanna do is just scroll down to add new, add a new plugin basically, and then upload the plugin. And then you can either drag and drop it, or you can um, find it in your files on your computer by hitting the choose file button here and then uploading it. As you can see, it's installing on my WordPress installation at the moment. Um, so, you know, while it's installing, okay, it's already installed. So what I'm gonna do is just hit Network Activate. And I wanna just uh, give you an overview of what Wangard is gonna do for you, okay? And this plugin is extremely important. Um, I would say even more important than the Google Captcha starting out because what Wangard does is it's a pro at keeping spam bots off of your site and blacklisting their IPs and domains, um, email domains um, over time. So over a period of let's say a month, Wangard's gonna give you the opportunity to actually uh, combat these, uh, these spam bots and blacklist their domains and IP addresses um, and what it does is it keeps a record on your WordPress dashboard and you can actually uh, personally go through, which I definitely suggest you do, uh, it's really going to help you to keep your site uh, spam free and it's just going to be a lot more effective if, if you do this. You just go through the different email addresses. A lot of the email address domains are free services that people will sign up for uh, and set up their automated uh, softwares to send spam your way. So Wangard makes, makes it easy for you to um, navigate and, and find those different domains and IP addresses that uh, you wanna blacklist on your site. Um, and once you blacklist them, uh, it's gonna be on the Wangard server uh, as long as you are connected to the Wangard um, API, okay? So it's gonna keep all the, uh, anybody you want off your site, you can just blacklist if you don't want them on your site. Or if they're, you know, spam bots, obviously you just wanna blacklist them. So let's just, uh, just overview this real fast. So what you wanna do is just scroll over to configurations for Wangard. And it's gonna ask you for an API key, okay? So what you wanna do is just go over to Wangard and get your API key, okay? And they ask you to fill out this form right here. So go ahead and do that. Um, and pause the video, go ahead and fill out this form. Okay, once you've registered, it's gonna bring you to this page right here. And what you wanna do is just grab the URL of your website, okay? 
and then go ahead and paste it right here. And then hit send. And it requested a new API key, so you can just grab the API key right here. Just highlight it, copy it, come back over to your uh, domain and enter the API key, then update options. All right, and as you can see, it says your key has been uh, verified, so you're good to go. And what we can do now is just uh, from here, we can click on security questions. Now, this is another option. If you don't want to use uh, Google Caps on your site for your registration page, I totally get it and understand. It's kind of annoying to have to use, but truthfully, guys, um, People that can't uh, fill out a CAPTCHA are probably not the people that you want on your website anyways because you're probably looking for people that at least have registered on a site before and most sites have CAPTCHAs. So um, there's nothing wrong with CAPTCHAs. I know it's old school, but it's it, people use them for a reason. It's because they work, okay? But optionally, you can actually use Wayne Guard security questions here and you can create any security question you want. So let's just say uh, three plus five equals and then you put the answer here right and we put eight and then hit create question so optionally you can have this question here and you can create as many questions as you want and Wangard will actually rotate those questions for people that are registering on your your site um, optionally you can go ahead and delete them um, you know and once we set up the Google CAPTCHA um, you can always go ahead and delete these or vice versa so that's how you set up a security question. Let's jump over to Wangard settings. Now there is a whole host of different settings here and let's just go through these really quickly. Um, I don't wanna to spend too much time here because out of the box, Wangard has it set up pretty good to where when people do register on your site, they're gonna get through at first, okay? But what Wangard is good at is keeping a record of all the, the domains that have registered on your website. And it's gonna tell you, it's gonna categorize um, all the different domains, okay, and it's going to put them in um, different lists. Uh, and Wangard has a very good understanding of which ones are going to be used for spam and which ones aren't. Um, and so you can go through that list and basically just delete, or I'm sorry, blacklist the ones that you feel are suspicious, obviously. So you can go through here and mess with these different settings. I suggest over time. Um, you kind of alter these settings. Wangard is not a you know plug and play um, plugin. I wish it was, but the truth is, any plugin that's pretty much plug and play is, is probably not going to be 100% uh, protective of your your registration page. So you can uh, overview these different options here, and then once you're done with your settings, just go down and hit save options. All right, I hope you guys are uh, paying close attention because we're going to keep going through this and we're going to get to the Google Capture very fast. So if you go over to block domains, you'll see here there's a list of it, a uh, list of domains. And here are the common domains. There's free domains and so on and so forth. Top level domains, mail.com domains. And WayneGuard, once you click on one of these, It'll have a drop down here and it, it'll give you a message here telling you about what they think of these different domains. And as you can see, uh, there's a huge list of domains that you can blacklist. And it'll tell you which ones you should blacklist and which ones you sh shouldn't. So make sure you pay close attention to this page and read through it because this page right here is what's going to keep your site uh, spam free, okay? probably I would say probably, probably about 90... 95% spam free. And then we're gonna use Google Captcha to um, handle the, the other percentage, okay? Now let's go over to server connectivity. And this basically just gives you an overview of uh, your, your API and it says you're connected, there's no problems on this site. So that's great. Now we can go down to users here. And as, uh, as people register on your site or if bots register on your site, they're going to pop up here and you can do bulk actions on these people. You can uh, select all and then you can either whitelist this user or you can actually, let's see here. 
you can actually re uh, report them as a splogger um, or spam. Obviously, I suggest uh, reporting the people that look suspicious as a splogger. Uh, one way to tell if someone uh, is a spammer is look at their name. If, if the name doesn't seem like a real name then, or maybe a super common name, then it's most likely spam, okay? And that's basically how you handle this plugin. Uh, you, it is very hands-on, but it works very well. Now you can go to moderation queue. And this is going to be a list of all the incoming people that have registered on your site. Another thing you can do is go down to the wizard here and start cleaning my site. So the wizard will actually run on your site and it'll check all the different users that have registered on your site and Wangard will actually report them as a splogger for you um, or optionally you can do it manually and there is an option within the Wangard settings that um, allows you to automatically delete sploggers. I actually suggest that you don't do that. I, th I think doing it manually is a lot better and it's a lot safer because you really don't want to um, accidentally delete someone that has registered on your site. And there's some other options here. I don't really want to get into it too much because it's not that important. Um, so that's the overview of Wangard, okay? And now it's installed on the site and it's going to start doing its job automatically as people register on the site. So uh, let's go back over to the plugins page and you just want to click on add new and then hit upload plugin. Uh, now we're here on the upload page and then what you want to do is go over to Google and then just Google uh, BuddyPress CAPTCHA for WordPress, okay? And this page should pop up and once you click on it, it's going to bring you to this page here. It's plugin slash BuddyPress uh, uh, CAPTCHA, okay? And all you have to do is hit download this version and it's going to add it to your computer. And then once you've added it to your computer, you can go back over to your site and simply upload this plugin. And now what you want to do is go over to your plugins and we want to activate this plugin. So scroll down to Buddy Press Caption and hit activate. Now that we've activated the plugin, you can scroll down and find where it's located on the menu bar. As you can see, it's under settings. It's called Buddy Press Caption. Click on that. And so what you're going to need is a site key and a security key. And you can actually choose the style uh, of the theme uh, for your CAPTCHA that's going to go below uh, your registration form okay, on your site. If you don't have one of them, all you have to do is go ahead and click there. And it's going to take you to the Google CAPTCHA page where all you have to do is simply uh, type in your label of your site and enter the domain name. So go back over to your site, grab the domain, come back over here and paste it. And then hit register. Okay, see an error occurred. So let's just try to get rid of this HTTP, I'm sorry, HTTP forward slash forward slash and also the forward slash on the end. So what we want to see is whitehathub.com um, and vice versa for your domain. <clears throat> and then click register. Okay, now that we've registered this site with Google CAPTCHA, you want to grab your site key first, go back over to your site, and enter it here. Go back over, grab your security key, copy it, and paste it in here. And then hit Save Changes. Okay, now that we've saved the changes, all we need to do is scroll up to the your name here in the top right and log out of your WordPress admin dashboard and then click the bottom link here at the bottom which is going to take you to the home page and now that we're here at the home page what we want to do is scroll over to this icon right here and scroll down to create an account once you do that it's going to bring you to this page here and if you just scroll down to the bottom as you can see it uh, the Google CAPTCHA has now been added to the bottom of the BuddyPress registration page and this makes it super simple uh, to you know keep spam bots from registering on your site um, so what we're gonna do is use Wangard for a long-term solution to blacklist different domains uh, that m most likely people are using for spam and also it's gonna give us another um, security option which keeps uh, bots from registering on this site through the Google CAPTCHA so you have the best of both worlds you can not only get all the great features that Wangard has to offer, but you also have front-end security as well. 
So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I really appreciate all of you guys. And um, if you haven't done it yet, I really would appreciate an iTunes review if you have an iTunes account. Uh, so just jump over to iTunes and go ahead and leave me a review if you want. I really appreciate it. You can be as honest as you want. It really helps me to get more exposure for my podcast. Also, another great thing is that make sure you guys stay tuned each week. Um, every Thursday, I'll be releasing a new podcast, okay? A new tutorial that'll walk you through a really cool tool uh, or plugin that is something that I personally tested. So, thank you so much for watching this tutorial and have a great day.